Hey guys, welcome to another video where I'm going to be discussing the question posed in the thumbnail and that is, are LEGO abolishing UCS sets? But first, let's look at this new May 1st R2-D2. So right off the bat, I have to confess I really like this set. I feel it's such an improvement from the 2012 UCS R2-D2 and it demonstrates how far LEGO has come in those 9 years. Personally, my favourite changes are the ones made to the head. Rounding the shapes off of the head gives it such a cleaner look compared to its counterpart and I think that's been the most impressive change for me. Other major changes include the way they round off the body and the way they display those mechanical pieces in the centre of his body. There's obviously other little tweaks here and there of course such as the slight redesign of the feet with also the addition of different coloured tubing which I think stands out and also the redesign of the quote play features too. What I'm referring to here is the additional lightsaber feature which can actually fire out of the head of R2-D2 and also the addition of the periscope that can protrude from his head. I don't think that was on the old one. Apart from that, all of R2's little movable arms and gadgets remain present but the bus orb seems to have been removed which is a shame but it's not really a big deal. The last thing to discuss about this new R2-D2 is the redesigned plaque and the addition of the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm stand where the minifigure scale R2 will sit. I do like this additional stand but I'm a bit disappointed with the R2-D2 figure we get as it's exactly the same as the other ones we've gotten in the past. My personal view is that when we're spending $200 on a set which comes with one minifigure which the set is based off then that figure should be the best R2 figure that LEGO can make and I'm not convinced that the one we're getting in this set is. To make it better and unique LEGO don't need to do much. I'm not talking about giving it a third leg or allowing the head to swivel which would be cool. I'm just suggesting they give us some leg printing. That's it. I think taking the extra step to make sure the R2-D2 figure we get in this set is better than the rest would have persuaded more people to buy this set and it wouldn't have cost LEGO too much to do either. They've done this in the past with things like the UCS Slave 1. Uh, the Boba Fett figure in that set had arm printing and at the time was unique to that set and I think they should have done the same here as well. Overall, if you don't own the 2012 UCS R2-D2, then I think it's worth buying this set if you're an adult. It's going to look fantastic on display, and it's a character everyone knows and everyone likes. And everyone can appreciate the extent of detail in this set. I also think it's not going to cost you too much. The 2,314 pieces it does come with, you're looking at a retail price of $200, £180 and €200, Euros, which is very, very good value. Now, if you already own the DUCS R2-D2 from 2012, then I'd personally skip on this set, but that's up to you, of course. Now, onto the question posed in the thumbnail. Are LEGO abolishing UCS sets? The reason I pose this question is because when looking at the box art for the set, what is it that you don't see? I'm sure you spotted it. No UCS signage. And on brick set, they don't categorise these sets as UCS, so it's not a UCS set. But why? Why on earth is this set not a UCS set? The old R2-D2 set from 2012 was a UCS set, so there's no reason why that this wouldn't be either. So if we agree LEGO has given us no clear reason to why this is not a UCS set, then we have two options to assume. The first being LEGO have changed what makes a UCS set without informing the community. Or B, they have gone ahead and now abolished UCS sets entirely. When I say LEGO may have abolished UCS sets, I don't mean they've stopped making UCS styled sets. I'm just suggesting they may have done what they did with Creator Expert to Star Wars. Creator Expert sets used to have the same style box art with Creator written at the top, but now all Creator Expert set box arts have changed. They don't say Creator on the box anymore. Instead, they've given us black boxes with 18 plus written on the box. The speculation here is that LEGO received word from the community that people were getting confused over Creator 3 and 1 and Creator Expert. People categorise both into one umbrella theme of Creator, but LEGO didn't want this. The difference between Creator 3 and 1 and Creator Expert were huge, and LEGO wanted to make that distinction. So even though Creator Expert is still there as a category on LEGO's website, what they've gone and done here is to remove the Creator Expert branding and replace it with the so-called 18 plus line with a nice shiny new black box. Have LEGO gone and done the same here with Star Wars? Removing the UCS branding and replacing it with an 18 plus line now? I don't think we would have to wait long for our answer. 
Lego have always given us a UCS set in May. If the R2D2 set that we've got is the only UCS style release from Star Wars in the month of May, then we know that they've gone and replaced the UCS branding with an 18 plus line. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you like my content, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video soon.